This video is to show selecting blocks to stitch on your, on your quilt blocks. I'm going to select pantograph. The first thing I want to do is go into ruler and set the size of my block. I choose the one that has the green lines all the way around it. And all of these blocks for this are 6 inch finish. I'm going to um, put my needle roughly up in the top left corner and then that's your choice where you want to start it but um, I select the left side there now I'm going to move my needle to the bottom right corner and select the right side there that has now measured the size of the block that I want to stitch within and I say apply measurement I need to select a pattern and it's in blocks. I'm going to select this one and I say open. And that is now what is on my screen and I'm ready to quilt. I can go into optimize and that will easily show me where it's going to start and stop stitching by I can choose animate stitching and that will go through the whole process um, if the stitching had started in the center then on your block you would need to make an X so that you would be able to tell where your center is but this one is, is easy since it starts in the top left corner. So there's nothing I need to do here. So I'm just going to say, okay. Now I'm ready to select where I want the stitching to start. I'm going to go back to where I had measured the block to be. That same place because that's where I want the top of that corner to start. So I uh, say See, that's where. <clears throat> now I need to pull the bobbin. So I take a single stitch and get my bobbin thread there. And now I am ready to hit. So, it's taking its micro stitches and then it's going to take off stitching. It's almost finished stitching this block. Now it's come to the end. It's taken the little stitches to finish off. So I need to pull the bobbin. So before I say I'm finished, I'm going to select pull bobbin. I need to... Um, move away so I will do that I'm going to grab my thread and I say move back and yes it, the needle is up And now I'm going to select single stitch. And do this. I saw it. There it is. So I will clip both those, both those loops. Now I say back and finished. 
At this point, I could move it over to the other yellow blocks on this row that I also want to use this same pattern. But for the sake of this video, um, I'm going to choose a different design for this next block. Uh, to do that, I select that red X to take me back into this screen. And then I choose this red X to take that pattern away. Select my new pattern. I'm going to select this one and open it. So that's what it looks like and it's ready to quilt. The same dimensions are, are holding so I don't have to redo the ruler or anything like that. I could choose trace if I wanted to watch. I can see that this design is going to both start and end in the bottom left corner. So I move my needle here and that's where I will set the starting point and just like before I will pull the bobbin and take off so that's how easy it is to sew your blocks